Welcome back to Cardenades.org. Today we're going to be continuing our series, Dumbfounding Definitions, Dizzying Distinctions, and Diabolical Doctrines, a series sorting through some of the jargon of philosophy. In this video, we're going to be looking at what is a definite description. So, in the philosophy of language, names such as James Brown or Amadou Bamba are contrasted with definite descriptions, such as the tallest building in the world or the largest two-digit prime number. Generally, proper nouns are going to be considered names, while phrases usually, which start with the word the, may be considered definite descriptions. Definite descriptions were introduced by Bertrand Russell in order to solve puzzles in the philosophy of language, such as the puzzle of negative existentials and the bald king of France. Check out my series on puzzles in the philosophy of language for more on that. Russell claimed that while definite descriptions seemed to behave like names, they actually took a much different logical form, specifically claiming that some object A is the X was equivalent to claiming that for all objects B, if B has property X, then B is identical to A. Or in other words, for all A, B has X implies that A is identical to B. For example, Yuri is the smartest, would mean that for all people, if someone is the smartest, that someone is Yuri. Or for all people, if a person is the smartest, that implies that Yuri equals that person. Okay? What do you think? Is Russell's version of this too revisionary? Because we seem to be saying something very simple and he has us saying something much more complicated. Or does this logical form actually represent what we mean when we say something is the X? Write your thoughts in the comments below and watch this video and more here at carnades.org. Stay skeptical, everybody.